Hi, my name is uh, Michael Keith, and I'm a UNH Marine docent. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the equipment that scuba divers use to explore the underwater environment safely. The first piece of equipment I'll talk about is the diver's mask. Um, a diver wears this mask on their face, and it enables them to see clearly underwater. Our eyes are designed to work in an air environment, so they're, if they're in another environment, things will be cloudy and they won't be able to, to see clearly. Wearing a mask underwater lets the diver see what's underwater. The other thing divers need is uh, some sort of protection uh, from, from the elements. Um, around here in uh, Maine and New Hampshire, divers of course need to, to wear a wetsuit or a dry suit uh, to provide some thermal protection and keep them warm underwater. Uh, but I bet you didn't know that uh, even divers diving in the warm tropical waters uh, will often wear a wetsuit as well and that's because the water is much more thermally conductive than air is um, so we need some thermal protection. Uh, you can be perfectly comfortable in 70 degree air for an extended period of time uh, but if you're in 70 degree water for an extended period of time you will get cold pretty quickly. Uh, divers will also use a uh, Many divers will bring an underwater light with them to help them see clearly underwater. Um, as a diver descends in depth, more and more of the sunlight is filtered out by the water, and having an underwater light helps them to, to see what's down there. This is a dive computer. Um, it just keeps track of uh, my depth, it times my dive, uh, and helps me to uh, stay within the, the limits of recreational diving. Uh, the last couple of pieces of equipment I'm going to talk about are a diver's tank, a buoyancy compensator, and, and the regulator. Um, so this is a diver's tank. This is a steel tank. Uh, this one holds 100 cubic feet of air. Uh, give an example. This is, this is one cubic feet of air. Uh, so I hope you're asking yourself, how can I fit 100 of these large boxes into this one small tank? find the answer to that in one of our subsequent videos uh, that talks about gas compressibility. Uh, now the air inside this tank is at 3,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, it would be very difficult to breathe air under that pressure. Um, so this is a device here in the top of the tank. It's called a regulator. Uh, it has a, has a mouthpiece and the function of the regulator is to reduce the high pressure in this tank uh, down to a lower pressure that, that a diver can breathe. And finally, the last piece of equipment that I'm going to talk about is called the buoyancy compensator. The buoyancy compensator is this device here that's attached to the tank. Um, it's connected to the tank air supply. When I press this button, the buoyancy compensator inflates. And when I press this one, the air pressure will decrease the volume of the buoyancy compensator. The function of the buoyancy compensator is to help the diver move up and down in, in the water column. And if you want to learn some more about the, the science of that, uh, you'll have to look at our buoyancy video. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.